Hey y'all, how's it going? It's your boy Kanar Lewis. We in the flesh. We doing it right. And I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that I feel many of us do, and it can be difficult to do, and that's about the return. It can be difficult to be comfortable during the vacations, during the breaks, because the summer vacation is pretty much over, and having to return back to the office. Having to return back to school, to the classroom, you know, to the construction site, whatever it might be, it could be difficult to do. And I think we have to ask ourselves is what is the very place that we're returning to and how we and how do we feel about it? Because ultimately our feelings of the of the return can give us a good indic can be a good indicator of whether that environment is maybe suitable for us or whether we feel at peace at that environment. Because I hear, oh, I got to go back to work. Ugh, I got to be in front of those kids again. Ugh, the office is a stress. It's, 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 and it's like those feelings are not necessarily good things to feel. They're real things. But maybe we need to change pace. Maybe we need to change location. And I think that's important because we have we life can't just be all about fun, right? There needs to be some work involved to some degree, but sometimes our mind is back on that island. Sometimes our our, our mind is back in that country, back on that cruise ship, but our body is back and it's still in the office, it's still in the school, and it's like we have to adjust, and it's not it's not easy. That's why I believe that there needs to be some level of self-compassion and knowing how we transition, how we get back to the regular groove that we used to be in. Because I, I think that in those moments of transition, we start to maybe mess up. We, we, we might start to fail. We might not be able to do everything that we're used to. Because in the vacation, it, was, it fed. It fed our bad habits. It fed our desires to live carefree. We were out there waking up at 11 a.m. We out there on the beach. We stay on the sun. We getting, we getting turnt. We can't get turnt as frequently as we can when we're working. We can't be out, the, be, at the, be out there on the beach as frequently as we can when we're working. And that's real. But sometimes our mind is there. And we sometimes dread waking up. I know sometimes it's difficult for me to wake up early because I was so used to working up at 11. Now I gotta wake up at seven. I was so used to going to bed at two, three a.m. Now I gotta go to bed at like eleven, twelve, and it's not. It doesn't just happen overnight. We need increments. We need to. Okay, I was going to bed at two or three. Okay, let me try to go to bed at one thirty. Maybe two. Let me try to go to bed at one, and then twelve thirty. Then twelve. Let's take it step by step. Get into. It. I know some people can snap into it, but we're not trying to compare. We're we're not. But we have to understand that the work that we do needs to be just as important as the breaks that we take. Because that break was needed. That break was for us. But if we're taking breaks and we're working to long for those breaks and we wish that we could just stay in breaks, then we'll never have that right turn. Because we have to work on ourselves. It's like going back to the gym. We took a break and now we came back. It's, it's not going to feel nice. We're going to feel pressured. We're going to feel tired. But returning, it, it has its benefits too. Because when we return back to that work environment or back to the gym, our health increases. Our pockets get fuller. And when we're, when we're having fun, that's great too. Our mental health is high. Our stress is low. But that's why it's important for us to figure out what work environment we're okay if we're returning to after a fantastic vacation, and what score are we okay with returning to after an amazing break? Because it's going to happen. It's inevitable. But the main thing is picking the right environment for you to return to, but also taking it step by step. You know, going in increments, returning, it's going to feel uncomfortable because you got used to not doing that. Now you got to do it again. Now you got to do it in a, in, a, in a different way. But sometimes the key is to not necessarily escape fully 
during our breaks, during our vacations, but to always know that this is just a rest stop. This is not permanent. So that when we get back to waking up and working, we're not dreading it so much. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.